if there was one word that would define my father, to me it would be curiosity. He was always curious. He, uh, he always was challenging, always looking at the, the next thing. Like, what, how can I do this better? In the early 60s, Dad went on a Board of Trade mission to South America. He was fascinated by what he saw because these were very congested cities. Toronto at the time was not at all congested as it is today. And in those cities, they had very high buildings. And he came back and said, I'm going to make one of those. So he built one in Etobicoke on the Kingsway. And it's 17 stories. It still stands today. It's a beautiful building. But it was one of the first high-rise apartment buildings built in the city. He's a very visual person, right? He saw that and said, that's what I want to do. We talked a lot about his uh, business impact. But one of the things I think that, that resonated in our family was his creativity. For Dad, his concern when he was building a uh, high-rise, there were no walls, like you had the floor and the next floor. There was no walls on the outside. So he invented this high spring machine. So he'd, he'd have a tool and he'd, he'd bring it up and put in a rod. And what that would do was create tension. And believe it or not, you could not push that. You could not push it. So he'd have a, a fence. It was called a safety fence. So the safety fence would block people from fall, walking over the edge. And it was a patent design. And uh, like he saw a need. He worked on it, I'm, I'm sure, for a year and a half uh, with all these, you know, all these different ideas and solutions, but came up with a great idea, and it worked. He also was a manufacturer. He had used a crane company called Liebherr, which was uh, out of uh, Germany. And when, it, when the, a motor blew, he had to wait uh, two weeks to get it done. So he came up with the idea of making his own crane company. So this was quite, a, quite a, an accomplishment and quite a challenge because uh, no one in Canada made, made uh, tower cranes. And I'm talking about tower cranes that go on top of buildings, go up you know, 20, 30 stories. He rented a factory and he started making them and he developed the, the Talisman Crane Company. And uh, one of the things he did to attract attention was to paint them pink. So you'd, go by, you'd drive by and say, what is that thing, a pink crane on this building? Uh, you know, with all the macho builders, all, all the macho men working there, I'm sure with a, with a joke. Um, my experience there was I would work there in the summertime, and, uh, and so they would, they would make all these parts, and there's all these cutoffs left over. So I would um, weld them all together and make a sculpture. So that was sort of my first experience in making a sculpture, because I, I learned how to weld. I mean, I, I couldn't weld the formal job. That was a professional, but I could use tack welding and cut. And so that was, you know by virtue of the fact that he was manufacturing cranes, I became an artist. <laughs>